Hello, Catherine and Michael. This is a new attempt at uh, doing a screen recording. Last time I used uh, Microsoft software, which uh, doesn't do word processes. So in general, uh, I'm uh, investigating um, ignorance rather than actually defining what ignorance is or the level of it. I'm saying basically if you have a systems approach, uh, there's such thing as a, a a systems ignorant person and a systems enabled person. I think they're the major things that go across. And part of system software is, or systems analysis is, looking at um, methodologies of analysis of quality, like the it's what the qualities the thinking and the effect of the thinking. So one going down one rabbit hole is to look at uh, these ideas of a cognitive network transaction classification. That is, I've got a cognitive network, what, two or three people, or one person or several people, and they're communicating with each other. They have transaction, uh, an idea transaction, something which changes their mind. And I'm trying to classify things. And rather than actually saying what they say, it's, it's a description of it. So. Uh, we'll have the first description here. I'll just show you how it works. Do, just, yeah, that's good. Okay. So um, a coherent scientific. So you imagine a scientist uh, puts together tables and references. Inductive. So this is a type of reasoning where you make a guess and you justify the guess. Analysis is you're all trying to explain what is happening that synthesize so in your head you're putting things together and you show candor you in your description you show understanding of uh, what's going on and you're using this idea say you come across something you're saying i want to refute it so they're all different uh, transactions these are all different flavors of transactions so if you can imagine a different color for it now we're going to go here hopefully and show the first thing here so i can now uh, it can be Nothing locally or incoherent. So I'm going to say a locally coherent. So it's a locally coherent. There's a, a limited area. And the actual type of um, thought or transaction can be a narrative. Uh, it could be scientific. It could be social group. Let's say there's a group. Social means that I think it's true by... Uh, I test it by sending it out on Facebook and you can see the number of likes and... Uh, we go here to inductive, and we say instead of being inductive, it's abductive. So abductive, just go through all the various, you get deductive, inductive, inductive, I can't remember what that is, abductive. Uh, it's where you've got some, some information, some observations, and if you had them all, you'd be able to uh, make a deduction, but you assume the your hunch is right and you fill in the blanks abductive reductive is to actually stop someone's thinking productive is you give an, anal an analogy which means that people tend to say yes and then you say and this is like that therefore my decisions are like that seductive and unductive um, so unductive is to actually have um uh, ideas which specifically destroy another opponent's thinking. Analysis will say this is an account that's transmitted. We'll just go through here. Sorry for the background noise here. Transmitted, showing. So you can have candor, you can show things. Dissonance. So I, I talk as. In general, if I have a, a social thing, I would say, look at this person, he's done that, how how can that possibly be? And to, rather than refute, we'll just go to assert, say, someone's um, killing cats. You know, there may be feral cats or something like that, but you can give it out of context and you can assert this person's bad. You cannot understand it. So this is a, a different type of uh, transaction, and this is how you can go through it. So this here is like a string of DNA, and these red areas here are like genes. They can have 
they've got a role, but how what they actually how they decide to do that role is determined by that gene. So uh, the uh, cognitive network transaction classifications, are, the options are called cognates. Now uh, I've spoken with Michael, and he said cognates has got another word for us. So we'll have to think of it. And it's analogous to DNA. We'll just go through this once more because we've got five minutes going up here. Locally, we can say let's go for an incoherent um, now narrative you're a bit drunk and you're trying to explain what's going on and you want to do productive you you say this productive you have a series of logic about something else but you can say now it's similar to it and it's an account um, diversion you're trying to actually um, say stop someone thinking of that transmitted we'll say that you've listened to it received as showing um, cognitive blanking will do it so cognitive blanking is where you simply do not register the information when you hear it you, you there's certain aspects which you just ignore say if there's a mathematical argument key to it and you say, I just don't do maths. That's not be right, but for me, I just don't do that. And you're going to assert, uh, you're going to proffer this idea. So you're saying, well, this might be reasonable. This is a different, a different going through here. So we're up to six minutes story. So this is the idea, just to summarize again. This is the transaction, and it has different variables in it which means it does different things and you can imagine these different colors you've got a network diagram and something happens and these these go through in different ways and colors and they determine what's going on this is to analysis analyze the quality of something so the idea is not that someone can be knowledgeable or ignorant i think the real word is a systems a systems aware or systems resistant might be what we want to get down to Thanks a lot for listening.